Hello, I'm John Barboza from Life Enriching Hypnosis, and this is Hypnotism 101. On August 20, 1986, the world witnessed its first United States Postal Service workplace violence incident, which occurred in Oklahoma, where two supervisors were shot at, six people were injured, and 14 workers were killed before the assailant committed suicide. On November 14, 1991, a recently fired letter carrier entered the post office facility in Michigan and shot his former boss, wounded four others, and killed four people before killing himself. On December 17, 1993, the first recorded use of the phrase going postal, which referred to the U.S. postal workers being shot and killed, was printed in the newspaper. The earliest known United States first mass schoolhouse shooting occurred in the 1700s in Pennsylvania, where two survivors were shot and the schoolmaster, along with nine or ten children, were killed. From the 1700s through the 2000s, there were well over a hundred school shootings. In just about every event, including children's sports, violence occurs, even by the hands of the parents. The young athletes are also affected by something called sports anger. An adult or child faces challenges and the possibility of losing or failing. With the children, they may not understand the emotions they are experiencing, which can be very traumatic. They can range from physical assaults towards themselves and to others. So it's perfectly okay and very important to help them understand these feelings so they will know how to deal with them. Anger is one of the most common feelings we experience as human beings, and it's basically an emotion that arises when we're unable to achieve our goals. And it manifests itself through irritability and indifference towards others. And it can be triggered by the simplest issues because each person has a different threshold for the emotions. There are many articles and tips or ways and ideas or suggestions given to help you to deal with emotional circumstances that arise or outbursts that occur. But again, every situation is different. I personally tend to avoid any and all anger-related situations that take place. But sometimes they just can't be avoided and you have to deal with it head on. So sometimes in order to nip it in the bud, you may have to step back and remove yourself from the situation in order to avoid it from getting out of hand or becoming violent or even deadly. When I worked for the United States Postal Service as a letter carrier, the advice that was given to us during the orientation was, if you are confronted or being closely followed by impatient drivers, pull over and let them pass. I use this tactic today when I'm driving. It's so simple and immediately diffuses the tension and anger. As far as unruly behaviors in public, the workplace, schools, and different environments, things won't change much until there is complete focus and an overhaul of standards and accountability starting from the highest to the lowest positions that demands us to be responsible and respectful towards each other. But that's a lot to ask for. To even make a dent in working towards dealing with anger and behaviors, we have to learn and teach and educate ourselves and recognize our triggers and diffuse situations tactfully. I'm John Barboza, and this is Hypnotism 101.